What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a returning Pokemon that has just recently received a buff in this game. We got ourselves a Wind Rider Shift Tree team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Sift Tree has always been one of my favorite Pokemon, but it definitely has always been lackluster on the rank ladder. But ever since this brand new buff came out, it seems like it could be pretty strong. You got Wind Rider as its ability, pairing it up with Tornadus. Seems like the perfect combo, right? Hopefully we get the rock out with this team, grab you guys some wins, all that good stuff. But Tornadus right here is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview, Rock and Prankster, and the Mental Herb as its item. It's got Bleak Wind Storm, it's got Tailwind, it has Taunt, and it also has Rain Dance for a little bit of weather control on this squad. In our second slot is going to be the star of the show, Shiftry over here, which is a Dark and Grass type Pokemon. It's got Wind Rider as its ability, so when we pop Tailwind with Tornadus, or if any opposing Pokemon wants to hit us with an air move or flying move, whatever you want to call it, we will get an attack buff. It has to focus Ash as its item and then rocking a lovely move set of Leaf Blade, knock off the takeoff item, sucker punch with first turn priority, and then it also learns fake out, which is just such a good move when it comes to double battles. In our third slot, we got Life Orb Dragonite with multi-scale and a crazy powerful moveset. It's got Draco Meteor, it's got Hurricane, Thunder, and Hydra Pump. A great moveset that really thrives in the rain, so pairing up with Tornadus can be really, really powerful. In our fourth slot, we got King Gambit with Defiant and the Salt Vest as its item. It's got Kowtow Cleave, Sucker Punch, Iron Head, and Terror Blast with that Flying Terror type. Fifth slot is going to be Fluttermane with Booster Energy and Protosynthesis. It's got Shadow Ball, it has Dazzle Gleam, and then it has Imprison and Trick Room, which is a perfect counter to, to, to any Trick Room team. In our final slot, we got Urshifu. Urshifu, top tier ever since it's been released into the meta, and I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. It's got Unseen Fist with the Lumberry and Insurgent Strikes, Close Combat, Aqua Jet, and Iron Head. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on the casual ladder. Let's grab some wins with the brand new Wind Rider Sift Tree. First match coming at you guys, and I forgot to give a huge shout out to the team creator. Vincent Perez, thank you so much for sending this team to me over on Twitter. If you guys have teams for me with rental codes featuring new or returning Pokemon, I would love to get my hands on them and use them for YouTube videos. So get them to me either in the comment section down below or do me one better and send them to me over on my Twitter. I'm looking for a Chandelure team. I'm also looking for a Gliscor team, all different types of teams. If you guys got them, again, get me those rental codes. But we're hopping into our first match, and we're going up against a Snow team, a Bomb of Snow. Articuno, definitely a very strong combo. And then they also rocking out with Arcanine. They also have Fluttermane, Heatran, and Thunderous. So I could go in with Shift Tree and also go in with with Thun or Tornadus. I think that works out really, really well because I can always fake out. I can change weather if need be. I can set up the Tailwind. I like it all around. So I'm gonna end up leading both of them. I am scared of the Arcanine a little bit, but I will bring my nice lovely Urshfu in the back end for that purpose. Final Pokemon should be either King Gambit or Fluttermane, and I'm kind of leaning towards Gambit a little bit. Am I? Not really. I don't know. Because Heatran's a little bit of a problem. Heatran is a problem, but we do have the lovely Urshifu, which can counter that. So you know what? I am going to end up going Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane is just a solid Pokemon all around, and it can really get work done on most Pokemon. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one but super excited to be using shift tree ever since it was released in uh gen 3 with uh, c dot i always like this pokemon but like i said it's lackluster on the ladder so this brand new buff is pretty big i think this brand new buff is going to do it justice some good justice but who they end up leading he tran alongside with the thunder so i'm gonna end up just faking you out i could go always go for sucker punch knock off all that but i'm just gonna fake this thing out and I'm going to set up this Tailwind, or do I Rain Dance first? I'm going to Tailwind first. I could Taunt. I could definitely Taunt, because I know we're faster. I think I'm just Taunting this thing. This thing's got to be Prankster. We're going to Taunt this thing up here first. I'm going to give it a little bit of Fake Out action. We are going to Taunt up on him. We're going to be like, hey, you cannot do anything. We're sick of you. We're sick of you being all Prankster. So I'm going to taunt him up, and he's going to try to taunt me. So he can't taunt after he's been taunt, and he also flinches on this turn. So from here, I can Grass Terra. I could. I could Grass Terra. I do have the Focus Ash. But I feel as from here, what is your speed, actually? 
What is your speed? I could just go right into the bear. I could just hard swap into the bear and just save shift tree for later. Which I'm really kind of leaning towards, right? Or I could just stay here and use a knockoff, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to knock off and go for a rain dance all around. Yeah, I'm cool with the rain dance. Actually, probably the only have Wild Bolt Storm. I'm going to tail one. I'm going to use my Focus Sash here. I'm going to use my Focus Sash. So I'm going to Sash up here. Probably going for a Wild Bolt Storm. This is kind of tough. Tough lead for us to go up against right here in match number one. But you get that Wind Rider boost. Pack boost, knock off, and come out here and do some big damage. I'm going to take off his eject pack. Big damage. Wild Bolt Storm is going to come in here. I get Wind Rider, which is awesome. Absolutely amazing. And I dodge the attack on top of that. Beautiful. Heat Wave coming in here. And I got Wind Rider. Yo, knock it off. <laughs> Yo, this thing is absurd. This thing is absurd. Oh my god. They're all wind moves. They're all wind moves that are attacking me. Heat Wave's a wind move. Wild Bolt Storm's a wind move. This is absurd. This is absurd. And now I am what? Plus three? On attack? Chill. Chill. Yo, this thing is a god right now. But from here, I'm just going to get rid of the Heat Tran. Throw a knockoff that way and... What do I do? I just guess, guess I go for a Bleak Wind Storm. Try to chip up some damage. He ends up withdrawing that Pokemon, which is totally fine. Oh my lord. You don't realize how many wind moves there are until you're bursting. So he ends up going into the Snow Warning. This is where I will change weather next turn. Protect's going to come out from the Heatran. I think we're thriving here. Oh my lord. This is gorgeous. Yo, Shift Tree's not playing around. Like I said, I was like, it's a rough lead right here. But now, it's like, dude, they went for Heat Wave and Wild Bolt Storm. Two wind moves that just helped us power through. So they end up bringing out the Snow Squad. And from here, I'm just going to stick with the knockoff into this slot. And I'm just going to pop a Rain Dance. I do not want them to set up a War Bell. We are killing it. I believe Blizzard's a wind move as well. There are a lot of wind moves that like go unaccounted counted for, right? That you forget about. And now I'm going to set up the Rain Dance. It's gorgeous. So far, so good. Knockoffs can come in here. We get rid of the Heat Train, which is huge. Shift Treat is just killing it. Killing it. Plus three. You going for a Roar Veil? Come on, man. I'm reading this dude like a book. This dude can't touch me. Can't touch me. Oh, my lord. And I was sitting there. I was like, this is kind of a bad lead. And then they went for Heat Wave and Wild Bolt Storm. Plus three now. Shift Tree's speed is double and Tailwind. This thing is not playing around. The best part about it is a lot of it, uh, Shift Tree's weaknesses are like moves that are heavy used in the meta. So from here, I'm just going to go for a knockoff into that slot. And I am just going to taunt this thing. Actually, I'll just Bleak Windstorm at this point. Makes the most sense. Eerie Impulse is going to come out here. And it does not affect me. I'm Dark type. And I'm physical attacking, so I don't know what you're doing. Knockoff's going to come out here. Pick up a KO onto you. Bleak Windstorm's going to land 100% of the time in the rain. That's going to be game set match, yo. Shift Tree. Lighten it up in match number one. Lovely. Just beautiful. Just perfect. Just perfect. But this seems kind of more of a hyper offensive team. I was looking at it and it didn't really have any protects, which is always a little bit of a problem, right? When you're playing doubles, but hyper offensive working out perfectly for us. Articuno is going to come out here for the final Pokemon. I would love to use Leaf Blade, but it's not going to work out any anything crazy. I mean, I just go Sucker Punch. I go Bleak Wind Storm. Probably cancel battle. And we're going to sweep here with Shift Tree in match number one, which is awesome. Love it. Love a good match number one when I'm showcasing. They just fully showcase this Pokemon perfectly. Beautiful. Wind Rider worked out amazing. And are you Quick Claw? You are Quick Claw. How dare you? Quick Claw is going to come out here. And you're going to Terrastalize. I do still have Terra myself. And I'm kind of hoping they go for a Blizzard. Because I would love to see if that's a, if that's a win move, right? They go into the poison type. The lovely little poison type. And I'm going to be able to sucker punch here. How much damage is this done? It's almost KO. And you were going to go for a freeze dry. So that's going to trigger my focus ash. No, it doesn't. We're actually able to soak that. If she's nice. And then Bleak when Storm comes out here and leaves this Pokemon on 1 HP. So cool. We still get the sweep. Sucker punch. I can spam it. And Bleak when Storm can come out here. I'm surprised our opponent just hasn't canceled the battle yet. Because we are just stomping stomping around with shift tree here in match number one there it is ladies and gentlemen one and oh let's go back to back in match number two and try to use shift tree a little bit more 
Second match on its way, and we killed it in match number one. But we got ourselves a tough one here in match number two, going up against an Ogre Pond and Pheasantipity team. And Pheasantipity is very strong. It's got toxic chains. It's a very bulky Pokemon. We got to figure out ways around it. And I believe it's a fairy and poison type. And so I'm not going to lie, King Gambo might be a great little Pokemon for us in this uh, against these guys. But from here, I think I'm just going to lead Shift Tree and Tornadus, right? It seems like a, like a great lead. I am a little scared of Heat Wave, but knowing that Heat Wave is, or not Heat Wave, I'm scared of Heat Train. But uh, knowing that Heat Wave is a win move that works out perfectly for Shift Tree. Really, really well. Got to watch out for the Ogre Pond with his Ivy Cordial move. And everybody say in the comment section down below that I'm pronouncing it wrong. Can somebody help me out here? Let me know how to pronounce that because I'm having a tough time. I'm having a tough time. <laughs> but I'm going to bring in King Gambit in the back end. And then the final Pokemon, I think I'm going to bring either the Urshifu or the Fluttermane. I do really like Urshifu here. Considering it's going to be super effective onto the Heatran, the Ogre Pond. Yeah, I like Heatran more than Fluttermane. But the Booster Energy is a beautiful sight to see. Definitely is a beautiful sight to see. Would I rather go Fluttermane just for that speed? Kind of. Actually, yeah, I would really like to go Fluttermane just for that speed. So, let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to go back to back here. You shift tree up a little bit more. But I wonder who they're going to lead. I'm kind of scared of the Pheasant Dippity. I only burst it once, and that thing absolutely tore me up with Toxic Chains and, like, Icy Wind. It was just so bulky. It also has Roost. Like, it does a lot. It does a lot. But it looks like a Flying type. It's not a Flying type. It's Fairy and poison and it's really weird it's really weird but i don't know why my face can't go dark when i'm drinking water look at it <laughs> my face came going dark that's funny that's funny but it's all good we're, we're back here but they're gonna end up leading who i didn't even see is that shen pao tornadus it is shen pao tornadus so i am scared a little bit of their shen pao I am definitely scared of their Shen Pao. Um, hmm. So I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to fake out their Shen Pao this turn. Do I even tail one up? Maybe I just taunt. Maybe I just go for a taunt here. I believe we are rather fast on our Tornado, so if we could just outspeed him and taunt him, that could be lovely. Oh, you're actually really slow. We're actually a very slow Tornado, but you know, we're still going to go for it. We're still going to go for it, so I'm going to go for the taunt here. And I'm just gonna go for a fake out onto you. We'll end up seeing a terror type. Please do not be ghost on the Shen Pao. This could get ugly real quick. I mean, I could suck the punch that, but it could get ugly real quick. And so perfectly played. Big time plays from her opponent. Um, okay. I feel you. I understand. I understand. Great plays. Great plays. Always a good terror type. But he's gonna taunt me before I taunt him. So we're gonna taste of our own medicine. Just like in the last match. And I have Mental Herb though. So, oh, yo. <laughs> We're going to Mental Herb the taunt just to taunt him. Please do not have Mental Herb. That'd be hilarious if he has Mental Herb. Let's see. No, they don't. That's great. So, he's going to Ice Spinner me out here. Um, That's fine. Um, I'm going to Sash up. And I am thinking here of just setting up the Tailwind. And then just sucker punching him. Because there's a chance that he sucker punches me. And I will outspeed at this point. I'll be plus one. He's probably sashed. I'll sucker punch. Hopefully he sucker punches back and just misses. And then we can kind of get after it that way. But Shift Tree, doing okay here. It's doing okay. Can I get some value out of here? Ends up withdrawing. Okay, this could be a decent turn for us. It could be a decent turn. So he ends up withdrawing to save his tailwind for later usage. He's going to go into Roll Boom. And probably just protection power here. I hope he doesn't protection power. I hope he's going for like a sucker punch. He's not protecting. That's beautiful. So hopefully he's going for a sucker punch here. Because I'm going to be able to tailwind up. I'm going to get that wind rider boost. It's looking beautiful. It's looking lovely. And I'm going to be able to sucker punch. Bang. Bring it down to Sash. Are you sucker punching? Show me your sucker punch. You should be sucker punching. Into my shift tree. No, you're sticking with ice spinner. That's odd. That's real odd. Knowing that I could have tailwind. That's real odd. But I guess it works out for him. So they're sitting here with Rillaboom. Rillaboom can fake me out. It can get some. It can get some things going here. And then he just destroyed his terrain. Okay, I mean, that's cool. That's definitely cool. But I'm gonna bring out you. And this is a good time for me to just terrestrialize the Gambo, right? This is a good time for me to terrestrialize the Gambo. I'm thinking, what's your speed? Are you faster than Shen Pao? 
with Tailwind. You're not. It kind of hurts, but I do have Flutter Mane in the back end, which is just beautiful. So from here, I think I just go for Bleak Wind Storm, and then I Terrastalize on top of that. And I just go for a Terra Blast. I look to rip into this slot, right? I'm cool with that, because he's going to fake out one or the other, chances are, right? Or he might even swap, knowing that he just took out his own terrain. So we'll see how this one plays. It ends up with drawing, okay, just a Shen Pao. That's, that's fine by me. And you're probably going to go back into your Tornado slot. Yeah, so Tornado comes back out here. I'm going to hit the Terrasalize button, and we're going to get after it. So Shift Tree gets off a little bit of value. We're looking for a back-end Pokemon to kind of clean this one up. Look for a win here. We'll see what they want to do. We'll see, because I think this is actually a really close battle. They still have all the Pokemon, but we're about to get off some big-time attacks. He ends up faking out you. That's totally fine. This is exactly why I Terrasalize my boy. I want to get off some big-time damage. So it was either the Bleak Wind Storm or this Terra Blast he was taking. The Terra Blast comes out here, brings it down to pretty much one shot. So we still have Tailwind, which is huge, and for two turns, which kind of sucks. I'd rather end next turn. But from here, I just go Bleak Wind Storm. Actually, I can just taunt you. I don't know what you're doing here. I'm just going to taunt you. And I just Terra Blast this slot, right? Yeah, I just taunt his uh, Tornadus. That's, that's, that's a fine statement. Probably bringing out Heatran for their final Pokemon. Or are you going back into Shen Pao? Why would you go back into Shen Pao? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. But from here, we just give up a little bit of taunt. We taunt this thing again, knowing that we have speed. And I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. So he tries to use Tailwind here. Terror Blast comes out here. We take out Shen Pao. So that was a... That was an odd swap because you just lost probably your one shot at winning this match, right? I mean, they do have one more Pokemon, so you never know. But Rillaboom, I guess they just want to fake out ready to go again? Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. So let's see if they go back in the room. That could have been their play, just to sacrifice to Shen Pao. And no, they have Ogre Pond still, who cannot Thrasilize, and I like that a lot. So from here, Bleak Windstorm's going to definitely be your call, and I think we just... He could Spiky Shield. He could definitely spike a shield, so I might not even double down. I think I just might go for a Kowtow Cleave. Yeah, I'm gonna go in this slot. The spiky shield, oh my god. It could definitely come out here, and I don't want to double down. I would definitely not like to double down here. And for him, the spiky shield, so... My play is just gonna be Leak Wind Storm. Yep, there's spiky shield. Okay, good, good call from me. Because that could have been a t terrible or a big swing of things if I would have doubled down in the Ogre Pond here. So I'm just gonna send a Bleak Wind Storm. And on top of that, I'm going to Kowtow Cleave and just try to get rid of this Tornadus. And I think I can do enough damage with Kowtow Cleave. You're actually outspeeding me. Don't give me the speed drops. Do not give me the speed drops. You do not. Cool. So Kowtow Cleave is going to fly here. It is going to finish you off. That is beautiful. And from here, I'm just going to set up another Tailwind. Cool. The Tailwind's gone. We're ready to roll out. We get some speed going. We still have Urshifu in the back end, which is massive. And that Pokemon's looking a little annoying, right? That Pokemon's definitely looking a little annoying, especially with the fake outs, but still. Do I just go Bleak Wind Storm instead? Nah, Tailwind's gonna be our friend. So I'm gonna go Tailwind here. And I'm gonna Terra Blast in this slot. This one's actually gonna be real close. It's gonna be a close match with the fake outs. So, like, Protect would be huge here. If I had Protect on, uh, on somebody, I would definitely throw it up here. But I wonder who they're going to fake out here. They're going to end up faking out you. That's fine. That's fine. So I do get off tail and my speed comes back up fully, which is massive. And we get after it this way. I'm going to use the signature move, the Ivy move, and he's just going to take out my Tornadus. And that's actually perfect. I thought you were going to take out my Gambit, but we don't need Tornadus after we set up tail and we get all the speed. It's all on our side. And from here, we'll probably just go... Oh, no, I thought I had Urshifu. Why do I think I have Urshifu? Actually, thank the lord I don't have Urshifu. We've gone up against two grass types. <laughs> like, it's so, okay, so this one works out fine. So I bring out the Fluttermane. I remember I changed it last second for the speed, and we have a nice little special attack boost here. So from here, Gleam will take out the Real Boom, so I'm going to Gleam there, and I'm just going to Terra Blast the Ogre Pond slot. Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely. Grass. Oh, you guys both have Grass Glide? Bruh, both of you are in Grassy Glide? <laughs> okay, that threw me off. That threw me off. I did not know that, but still, this should KO you, right? 
you're a little lightweight. Yeah, okay, you're gone for that. And now their only hope is to just grassy guide me. Actually, I could just sucker punch him, correct? I could just sucker punch. But is it worth it? Because you're not you're not KOing me, Grassy Guide, so I'm not even gonna look to do that. So Grassy Guide's gonna come out here. Yeah, we soak it up all day. That is crazy that overpilot is Grassy Guide too. Stab move. First turn priority pairing up with Roboom, and our opponent's just gonna cancel the match. Or not even cancel the match, they turn off their console, which is hilarious. But 2-0. Nice game from King Gambit. Got Shift Tree out there a little bit in the beginning, but again, King Gambit definitely carried us in match number two. Final match is on its way. Killing it in match number two and in match number one. We're looking for that perfect record. Going up against yet another Ogre Pond team with Fluttermane and Tornadus. And they're also rocking out with Frigograph, Iron Hands, and last but not least, they got the one and only Rillaboom. So as we learned in the last match, Ogre Pond does learn Grass Guys. Pairing it up with Rillaboom is a possibility for our opponent. Right? Definitely is a possibility, but I'm loving the shift tree lead, right? Loving it. Loving it. So I'm going to lead it yet again here in match number three. In the back end, we are going to bring probably King Gambit again. I really like King Gambit with the Terra type flying. It's super effective onto the Ogre Pond, onto the Rillaboom. You got Sucker Punch and Steel moves for the uh, Flutter Main. It just works out so well all around. So I'll bring King Gambit. And then last but not least, do we go with my boy Bear, Dragonite. Or Fluttermane. Obviously, Fluttermane is money here. I like Fluttermane. But I kind of would rather go Bear. Bear's got the Lumberry. I could go Dragonite. I mean, it's third and final match. We haven't used Dragonite yet with this crazy moveset that it has. And you know what? Maybe we'll rock out with it. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're already 2 0. Obviously, if this was like competitive or like I was playing for money or it was a tournament, blah, 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 I would definitely use Fluttermane here. But. You know, we're looking to have some fun here. Let's rock out with uh with this Dragonite. Because most of the time, it's, when you see Dragonite, it's all E-Speeds and all that stuff. But this one has a different moveset to it. So we'll rock out with it. So we end up going into these two. And are you Booster Energy? You are not. So Tailwind could be our friend. We might just not even want a Tailwind. And we might just want to go Bleak Wind Storm into a knockoff here i can't fake it out i mean knockoff isn't gonna ko it or is it if i get that attack boost maybe maybe but i honestly think we just terrestrialize and go up i have focus ash you're gonna end up terrestrializing as well and are you going to terrestrialize for a graph for the dark move that's kind of why i didn't want to touch it no you're gonna go into the Fluttermoon slot and go into a lovely fairy type so we have sash up here I wouldn't be surprised to see him use uh, Trick Room, and the reason being is because I have a Tailwind user out here. So that's why I did not go into my Tailwind. We shouldn't get after a straight with a with, uh, Ship Tree. We're going to try to slice in the grass, we to get off some big time damage. Leaf Blade does have a chance of critting, which would be huge here. And we'll see what they want to do. Probably Dazzle Gleam, yeah. The Dazzle Gleam's going to get cooking, still going to do a nice chunk of damage on my Pokemon. Yeah, bringing me down to 17. Leaf Blade's gonna get cooking here. How much damage is this doing? Well, bam. Shift Tree, chill. <laughs> chill, dude. My man, chill. My man, chill. Bleak Wind Storm's gonna fly here. He's gonna do some night. Oh, get a crit on that. Woo. And a Dazzling Gleam's just gonna fly with that. Okay. Kinda hurts soul, but I'll take that all day. I'll take a Flutter Main KO from Shift Tree. Nice big time Leaf Blade. That's huge. That's huge. Plus, they did not pop uh, Shrick Room. So, actually, now would be a money time to probably bring out... I don't want to bring out... You're a back-end Pokemon. With this moveset, you are such a back-end Pokemon. <laughs> you are not coming in here. Real Boom's coming out. Oh, my lord. And from here, do I now pop that one? I could if I want to. Oh. Um, I could definitely if I want to. Grassy Shirt's going to come out because he can fake me out. I can't use any first-turn priorities up against him. You have to watch out for Grassy Guide. Um, I think maybe we just try to taunt him, right? Actually, we can't. Prank's just first turn priority. Um, I think we just try to go for Bleak Wind Storm and we and we uh, go into a Cat Attack Leap here. The Protect comes out from Melbourne. Okay, I'm fine with that. This turn actually works out perfectly. Because now I can get rid of Ferrigarath and I can pop Tailwind next turn. I like it. 
We're gonna have to dodge that, but it's all good. He's gonna pop a psychic. Can we eat that? I think we should. We do. Living on eight. Living on the edge, baby. Got that cleave coming here and just destroying that giraffe. And of course, that has Rocky Helmet, so I take a, a tad bit of damage. A tad bit of damage on the Rocky Helmet side of things. I'm surprised. Like, really, you're gonna, really gonna protect instead of fake out? Very odd play, but it's fine on my part. So the Ogi comes out here, and this is where things get a little scary. This is where this is where life gets a little scary because we're gonna pop the tailwind. We want the speed. And who do I do damage onto? It's the real question. Because the fire move just rips into me. But I feel as if we can just land like a hurricane on that thing. He's he's dead. So do I pop rain dance instead? No, right? Maybe rain dance. Do we want to dance with rain? Kind of want to dance with rain. I think I'd rather dance with the rain than Tailwind. Let's be real here. Looking at the moves, Rain Dance is going to be our best friend. So I'm going to go after Rillaboom here. I'm going to set up the Rain Dance for my Dragonite. This thing does have Mold Breaker, so it will go through my Mold this game. And he ends up Grass Gliding into me. So I think he's going to go for his signature move. And maybe, just maybe, with the Rain Dance, we can eat it up. Can eat this up? You are terrifying, man. We do eat it up. Rain Dance was lovely, call. Kata Cleep coming in hot here. Bang, some nice damage. I came to play. I came to play. Rain Dance was a great call. Great call. Keep it us in this match. Now we're bringing out the heavy hitter. The heavy hitter Life Orb Dragonite with every type of move in the book. So Hurricane, we're going to want to use it onto the Overpin slot all day. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to stick with Kowtow Cleaves into the World Boom slot. Because if I land one Hurricane on Ogre Pond, you're a dead guy. You are dead. End up going in Throat Chop, which does insane amount of damage. Like I said, it's hitting through multi scale because of Mold Breaker. And Hurricane comes in here. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Dragonite in the back end. Big time damage coming out from this thing. That pretty much wraps it up, right? Real Boom is your final Pokemon. You do have high horsepower, which I live on 9 HP. You probably should use that last turn. Count that Cleave's gonna come out of here. Nice damage. We love it. You're gonna eat up on your lovely berry. Get back like 25% HP. Come on, man. I'm out speeding you. This game set match. Got the Dragonite ready to cook. Ready to cook. So, Hurricane. Actually, I'd rather use Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor looks a tad bit cooler. And we'll go for uh, Kowtow Cleave. And the battle was canceled. 3 0, killing it with the Shift Tree in today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0 with Shift Tree. I shouldn't just say Shift Tree. Win Rider Shift Tree on the casual ladder. Had a ton of fun using this Pokemon. Rocking out with it in match number one while our opponent was using Heat Wave and Wild Wolf Storm, giving us a plus three attack boost and just sweeping the match from there. Then in match number two and match number three, we let it every single time, getting off some work, doing a little bit, and then the back end Pokemon coming in there, cleaning things up. And again, the real perfect record. Cannot complain about that. But guys, that is gonna be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.